Okay, today we're going to do a, a little small, little small job. I install a new surround. This one is uh, falling off the wall. It's fairly, pretty much the about the cheapest one that you can buy. Which, if installed correctly, it really shouldn't even come off the wall. Uh, more than likely, I'm thinking we probably have a little bit of drywall damage behind the surround. And let's see. Yep, that's. Yep, a little bit of drywall damage. That will have to be replaced. Yep, see, that's just pretty much falling off. Alright, well, we'll get started and see how she turns out. Okay, I just want to show you guys something. You can use green board on the walls when you do surrounds, but if there any water at all gets behind that, as you can see how it's bubbled, it will deteriorate. And they've even got some water downstairs too, they said. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull the green board out from around the tub, about three foot high, because you can buy concrete board or hardy backer board, and they're three foot by five foot. And I'm going to patch this in where the new surround is going to go, about three foot up, eliminate a little bit of cutting, and I'll show you what it looks like after that gets done. All right, I got the drywall all pulled off. I've got a three foot by five foot piece on the back. On the front, or I guess I should say on the side, on the front and the back, I uh, cut a hole two foot six high. And what I tried to do, and the reason I cut two foot six, because my uh, sheets of concrete board are three foot by five foot, so that's half of it. <clears throat> Scabbed in some wood along the sides there, so we can run that all the way to the edge on the front and the back, the concrete board. I'm going to stick the concrete board in there, silicone along the bottom, and this is another thing I want you to look at. Pretty much all tubs have a flange around the top of them. That's to keep the water basically from rolling over the sides and going down in your basement. If you're getting water in your basement, it's because it is running over the side into the floor or onto your floor. Uh, if, it's, if that's not the reason, that drain right there, sometimes if it's not installed correctly, it'll loosen up and it will uh, drip water down into your basement. So anyway, uh, that's part of it. And now I'm going to put in the concrete board. And you can see the 2x4 bracing in there. That's for a uh, handicap uh, handrail, about 23 and a half inches to the center of the 2x4 and centered on the wall. Okay, we'll get the concrete board put on now. Alright, got the uh, Duroc put in. Goes from side to side all the way across. This will eliminate any of the, well it's better than drywall. It won't expand and deteriorate. And what I like to do, probably don't have to do it, but I like to anyway just for Cautionary sakes. I just use silicone to seal up around the uh, where I join the drywall, especially down the corners. Uh, it is all silicone along the bottom of the tub um, where the concrete board meets. That is the only silicone that you will need to put on your tub. Once the surround goes on, you do not need any silicone on it. It is, for the most part, maintenance free. I'm just cleaning the soap scum off. All right, we'll get that surround put up and uh, dry fit it, and make sure everything's fitting good. All right, next up, I'm just pre-fitting everything. Uh, nothing's glued yet. I've just got that actually held up there with screws. Got the surround cut out where it needs to be for the window. We'll trim out the window with a vinyl plank, vinyl. In outside corner and possibly run some casing around this. It really doesn't need it, uh, but there is a spot right down here where the 
tub flange sticks out past the drywall it's kind of got it kicked out so I'm not sure what I'm going to do here yet Let's see if we can fix that first before we're doing that okay everything's looking pretty good we'll slap some glue on here and get her glued on start to trim her. okay this is what I would recommend as far as gluing these panels uh, they tell you all you need is the tubes of adhesive uh, just go buy a bucket of this fast grab for FRP and use a trowel and completely cover the panel this isn't done yet but I just want to kind of show you completely cover the panel let it start to haze a little bit slap it on the wall pull it off the wall let it haze a little bit more and then stick it back on use tape screws whatever you need to to stick it on the wall hold it on the wall sorry get the walls up get a little brace in there because we're trying to keep it all sealed up yet yeah can get it, trimmed it out with some casing kind of finishes it off gives it a good look got the uh, new shower head well they didn't have a shower head in here, so this is what they have for a shower. So everything came together pretty good. Looks real good. Changed out all the hardware, have a new spout and everything, and it cleans it up real nice. You can actually buy these at Lowe's, Home Depot, or Menards. Um, gives it a nice, fresh, new look. No sense in caulking around the bottom of this. The water will not go anywhere, so. it turned out very beautiful another good job